Hello everyone, I am Charul. I welcome you all on my channel Education at Your Doorstep. This is the fourth lecture in the lecture series of Geomorphology in which we are going to talk about our Mother Earth, the blue planet, the Earth. In this lecture, we will be talking about the internal structure of the Earth, components of the Earth and some important features of the Earth. Guys, before starting the lecture, I want to ask you some questions. What are the Kuiper objects? What are the comets, shooting stars and why there are depressions on the surface of the moon? If you don't know the answer of these questions, then please refer to my previous video. The link is given below in the description. And also, if you want the PDF of my lecture, Please follow me on my telegram channel that is education at your doorstep. Let's start our lecture with the important characteristics of our mother earth. Earth is known as the blue planet. Why it is so? Because more than two third of the surface of the earth is covered with water. Seas and the oceans, rivers, ponds and lakes which are imparting blue color to the surface of the earth. So, if we will look at the earth from the universe from the outer space, the earth will look blue in color. Hence, earth is known as the blue planet. Now, coming to the size of the earth, it is having the radius of 6400 kilometers. But as we know, the shape of the earth is geoid, which means the radius at the equator is more than the radius at the poles. The earth is bulged out at the equator and is flattened at the pole. Is ka matlab equator ke paas earth bulged out hai jab ki poles pe flat hai. Jis ki wajah se equator par radius zada hai and poles par kam. And if we will take the average of the radius at the equator and the pole, it comes out to be 6400 kilometers. Now coming to the orbit of the earth. What is orbit? It is basically the path in which the earth is revolving around the sun. The average distance of the earth from the sun is one astronomical unit, which is equals to 150 million kilometers. As we know, the orbit of the earth is elliptical in shape. But the average radius of that ellipse is equals to 150 million kilometers and that is equals to one astronomical unit. This distance is basically taken as the reference distance to calculate the distance of different planets from the sun. For example, the last planet Neptune is at a distance of 30 astronomical unit from the sun. And the radius of the solar system is nearly equals to 100 astronomical unit. The earth takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete one revolution around the sun. And that is forming one year. But as you know, the normal year have just 365 days. Then the question is, where is this 6 hours going? Actually, the thing is, ये 6 hours को हम 4 साल के लिए sum up करते हैं and 4th year में February के month में इसको add कर देते हैं and that is the leap year. That's why the normal year have 365 days whereas the leap year have 366 days. As we know that earth is also rotating about its axis along with the revolution around the sun. It takes 24 hours to complete one rotation around its axis but the reference point should be the sun and that is known as the solar day. But if we consider the rotation of the earth from some distant star then it is known as the sidereal day and it is 23 hours and 56 minutes long. This is because the earth is also wobbling. And we are going to talk about the wobbling motion of the earth in the next lectures. Let's come to the another characteristic of the earth. It have the maximum density among all the planets that is equals to 5.5. .5. 
and we have already talked about the second most dense planet of the solar system that is the mercury now coming to the twin sister of the earth why venus is known as the twin sister of the earth actually the size and the mass of the venus and earth are almost the equal and also both are the terrestrial planets that's why they have the rocky core they have huge amount of residual energy because of which the volcanism takes place on the surface of these planets but the main difference is that both the planets are rotating in the opposite direction that is the venus is moving in the westward direction and earth in the eastward direction as we say that sun rises in the east and sets in the west but if we will go to the venus the sun will rises in the west and sets in the east now why life exists on the earth This is because of the presence of the water on the surface of the earth which is not suitable for our drinking at all but there is just a small portion of it which can be used that's why we say save water save life and the second most important thing is the atmosphere which is responsible for the favorable temperature cloud formation precipitation and the communication by the radio waves which are being transmitted using the atmosphere all the seasons that are being experienced on the earth are because of the atmosphere now coming to the components of the earth lithosphere hydrosphere and the atmosphere it is very clear from the names lithosphere is basically the land surface of the earth जहाँ पर लैंड्स हैं कॉन्टिनेंट्स माउंटेन्स प्लेट्यूज दे आर फॉर्मिंग द लिथोस्फियर एंड इट इज फॉर्मिंग द लिथोस्फियर एंड दैट इज अबाउट वन थर्ड ऑफ द टोटल सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ द अर्थ नाउ कमिंग टू द हाइड्रोस्फियर मोर देन टू थर्ड ऑफ द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ इज कवर्ड विद वॉटर सीज ओशियंस पॉन्ड्स लेक्स एंड रिवर्स बट द रिवर्स and the lakes are the only water bodies which we can use for drinking and the cooking purposes whereas the sea and the ocean water is very salty and is unfit for the domestic purpose now coming to the atmosphere it is basically a gaseous envelope surrounding the surface of the earth matlab earth ke aas paas ek gaseous envelope hai jo hame protect karta hai harmful uv radiation se एंड ये ही क्लाउड फॉर्मेशन के लिए भी इम्पॉर्टेंट है जो रेडियो वेव्स के थ्रू हम लोग कम्युनिकेशन करते हैं ये भी सिर्फ एटमॉस्फेयर के कारण ही पॉसिबल है एंड द जोन ऑफ ट्रांजिशन बिटवीन द लिथोस्फेयर हाइड्रोस्फेयर एंड द एटमॉस्फेयर इज नोन एज द बायोस्फेयर एंड द बायोस्फेयर इन विच द ह्यूमन कॉम्पोनेंट इज द डोमिनेटिंग कॉम्पोनेंट इज नोन एज द बायोस्फेयर टू लिथोस्फेयर इज द लैंड hydrosphere is the water atmosphere is the gas and where these three parts meet are known as the biosphere now this is the globe kya aap dekh sakte hain equator par radius zyada hai and poles per cup can you see the tropic of cancer equator tropic of capricorn arctic circle and the antarctic circle what are these we will talk about these in the later classes in which we will be discussing about the longitudes and the latitudes let us come to the structure of the earth basically the internal structure of the earth can be divided in three parts crust mantle and the core guys crust ko bolte hain sial oceanic crust ko bolte hain seema and then the core is known as the nephe now we are going to talk about the elements that are abundant in the crust they are in the order of oxygen aluminum silicon and the iron then in the mantle they are in the silicon magnesium and the aluminum and then in the core they are nickel iron and the silicon these are the most abundant elements that are found in the different layers of the earth crust 
mental and the core can you see this the inner part is the core then is the mental and the outermost surface is the crust on which we are living on which the agricultural activities are being carried out and on the sides of it it is the atmosphere which is protecting us from the harmful radiations of the sun now coming to the crust guys अर्थ के सबसे ऊपर है एटमोसफियर एंड देन जहां से सरफेस स्टार्ट होता है वो लेयर बनी हुई है सेडिमेंट्री रॉक से नियरली सिक्स किलोमीटर थिक सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स आर प्रेजेंट व्हाट आर द सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स दीज आर द रॉक्स व्हिच आर द रिजल्ट ऑफ द इरोजन एंड द डिपोजिशन ऑफ द सेडिमेंट्स विच आर बीन कैरीड आउट बाय द एयर वॉटर एंड द ग्लेशियर्स फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट लैंड This is known as the sedimentary rocks. These rocks contains fossils. Guys, we are going to talk about igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and the metamorphic rocks in the later classes. Now comes the continental crust. Then the oceanic crust. Continental crust is made up of granite and the oceanic crust is made up of basalt. Both are the igneous rocks that are being made because of the cooling of the lava which come out at the surface of the earth and these are forming the igneous rocks guys crust ko hum log do part mein divide kar sakte hain upper crust and the lower crust c or c ki discontinuity hai conrad then jab hum log crust se mantle ki taraf move karenge then hoti hai mohnovic discontinuity C और M के बीच में है मोहनोविक डिसकॉन्टिन्यूटी देन कमिंग टू द सेकेंड लेयर दैट इज द मेंटल गाइज इसमें क्या होता है अपर मेंटल में एक लेयर है जिसको बोलते हैं प्लाज्मा दैट इज द फोर्थ स्टेट ऑफ द मैटर विच मीन्स समवेयर बिटवीन द सॉलिड एंड द लिक्विड एंड दिस इज नोन एज द एस्थेनोस्फियर the crust and the upper part of the mantle together form the lithospheric slab which is also known as the plate tectonic which are moving on the asthenosphere that is the plasma and the fourth state of the metal guys as upper mantle and lower mantle are repeating themselves the discontinuity between them is known as the repetite disk अभी आपको पता है कोर में जाना बहुत मुश्किल है हम मेंटल से कोर कोर में पहुंच गए वी गॉट द सक्सेस एंड दैट इज नोन एज दी गॉटन बर्ग डिसकॉन्टिन्यूटी मेंटल और कोर के बीच में है गॉटन बर्ग डिसकॉन्टिन्यूटी नाउ कमिंग टू द कोर एज वी नो दैट ऑल द टेरेस्ट्रियल प्लैनेट्स हैव अ रॉकी कोर एंड देयर इज ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ रेजिटुअल एनर्जी प्रेजेंट देयर which come out at the surface of the earth in the form of lava jaisa ki humne big bang theory mein padha tha still hamare terrestrial planets ka core bahut garam hai bahut energy hai jo ki volcano ki form mein surface pe aati hai aur yahi reason hai kyun volcanism hoti hai core ko do parts mein divide kiya ja sakta hai upper core and the lower core jo inner core hai wahan par hai rocks lekin outer core hai liquid and आउटर कोर और इनर कोर में जो डिसकॉन्टिन्यूटी है उसको बोलते हैं लहमैन मैन बिल्कुल अंदर तक नहीं जा सकता अर्थ के और जहां पर मैन ना जा सके उसको बोलेंगे लहमैन डिसकॉन्टिन्यूटी लेट एस रिवाइज अगेन क्रस्ट एंड क्रस्ट में डिसकॉन्टिन्यूटी है कॉन्ड्रेड क्रस्ट से मेंटल में गए तो हमारे पास डिसकॉन्टिन्यूटी आई मोहनोविक डिसकॉन्टिन्यूटी और दी मोहो डिसकॉन्टिन्यूटी मेंटल मेंटल ने अपने आप को रिपीट किया तो बनी रेपिटाइड डिस्क डिसकॉन्टिन्यूटी हम मेंटल से कोर में पहुंच गए तो बनी गॉटनबर्ग डिसकॉन्टिन्यूटी आउटर कोर एंड इनर कोर में गए तो वहां पर बनी लेहमैन डिसकॉन्टिन्यूटी क्योंकि वहां पर मैन नहीं पहुंच सकता एक्चुअली गाइस 100 किलोमीटर से आगे तक हम लोग रॉक्स के बारे में स्टडी नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि अंदर अर्थ बहुत ज्यादा गर्म guys that is all for today if you enjoy my video do like share and subscribe and if you want the lecture on ecology and environment please visit my channel and 
follow me on my telegram channel the link is given below in the description thank you so much